Good morning and welcome back to Prime of Midlife. This is week three of my £20 per week shopping budget. Now, I've put up a video last night showing you about the previous two weeks and what I have left over. So this week, my intention was to go to Asda. I had made a list. I was so proud of myself. Asda was decimated. Absolutely decimated. Um... <clears throat> not sure what happened, um, but just, oh my goodness. So I did take some pictures. I'll throw them up at the end of the video so you can see what happened because the veggies were just, there was nothing in the reduced section. There was no bagged carrots. There was very little. So let me talk you through what I got in Asda because I then went to Lidl's because I couldn't get everything I wanted in Asda's. So, we shall start with the pasta. Now, obviously I went through quite a bit of pasta. So what I did is I got two. These were 41 pence a packet. So I got two because I want to put one away. So 41 pence each, two packets, one to be used, one to be stashed. I am starting a stockpile or a safety net or whatever you want to call it. Now, the ca the carrots, as I say, there was, there was no bagged carrots. So there was the big box of loose carrots and I couldn't find bags anywhere. And then someone had left one of these lying about, so I just took it. It was sitting there looking all lonely. I got a lot of carrots, um, probably weight-wise about double the size because it cost me 82 pence. Now, their bags of carrots are normally about 40 pence. But I can roast these and freeze these. I use the roast carrots as a lunch snack um, or for my lunch. So I'm quite happy to have a lot of carrots. There will be a lot of them getting roasted. I also got myself a bag of potatoes. Now, the potatoes, let me look, were £1.29. Now, considering the cost of a bag of mashed potatoes frozen, which is what I budgeted for last week, I thought I'm just going to bite the bullet and I am going to peel these, mash them. Well, not all of them because no. Um, but I'm going to peel a lot of them, mash them and freeze them. Then I will have my own mash as well as whatever else I use. So for one twenty nine, I thought that was a good bargain. We obviously have butter, which is still at the 179 mark, thankfully. I got my tea bags. Now, 40 tea bags cost me £1.55. And as I say, I drink a lot of tea. But as I was driving home, I had the thought of how many half cups of tea do you throw out? And what I've actually been doing, because as you know, I use quite a large mug. I've actually been reheating the second cup. And I thought, I'm going to go and find my teapot and I'm going to make a flask. I know some of you do um, flasks for tea. I haven't done that as yet. I've only done that for my coffee. But I am going to make myself a flask of tea today and see how I get on. Because if I've only got 40 tea bags for the week, that's, that's giving me the heebies. So there you go. I got my bread, which was 45 pence for the loaf of wholemeal bread. Now, it's going to go in the freezer because really I only use it for toast in the morning and for it to last a week um, it's better in the freezer. I got noodles because I knew I wanted to buy a chicken so I got myself noodles. Now the noodles were £1.25 and that will do me at least three meals. Now I did go and look at the chicken in Asda and it was £4.50. I nearly had a heart attack. And trust me, it looked very, very scrawny. So we did not get the chicken out of Asda. I was just like, no, I'm not paying £4.50 for a chicken. So this that you can see at this side, this here, is my Asda shop. And it came to a total of £7.97. Which is not bad. But, obviously, as I say, I wasn't terribly happy with that. So... Let me just move some of these things and then we can show you what we got in Lidl's. 
So in Lidl's, as I had said earlier in the week, a lot of people have been saying, Karen, you're not really doing fresh fruit and veg when you're doing this challenge, and that's worrying. So due to the fact that Asta had bleh, as I went into Lidl's, I found a huge bag of bean sprouts for 55 pence and a mushroom stir-fry bowl for 66 pence. And then when I brought it home and turned it that way, I was like, Karen, you could have done that yourself if you'd got a bit. But, do you know, mistakes get made. So that is going to be tonight's dinner. Um, it's going to be stir-fry and probably tomorrow night's as well because there'll be enough for two nights. I also got myself a chicken, which is a medium whole chicken from Lidl's, and that was £3.79, which to me is way better than £4.50. So we got that. We also got cheese because in Asda, the just essential cheese was not there. There was none. The shelves were empty. So we got 400 grams of cheese, which was £2.55. So not too bad. And that should, that will, well, I'll be, I'm not going to go through that much cheese in one week, am I? Let's be sensible about it. We also got, I didn't get the UHT skimmed milk today because it was 95 pence and I got this for £1.20. And I thought, you know, I'm just going to get this, keep it in the fridge and do my thing. As you can see, I've already had a cup of tea when I came in from the shopping because needed tea. And I also got the toilet tissue. I got the quilted one, four rolls, which was £1.79. So in total... I spent £10.54 in Lidl's. So, looking at that, and I can't do this backwards, I have this left in change. And this is £1.20, £40, £45, £49. £1.49 left from my £20 food budget for the week. And I think that's not bad because I have lots of things to make meals with. From the pasta to the stir fry to the potatoes and the carrots. I am quite pleased with that. But I have to say I was utterly shocked by the state of Asda and how little there was. However, if I had been sensible and looked it up, Asda in Perth had a lot of um, electrical damage with the cables and stuff because of the floods last weekend and so I'm presuming their ordering went squinty and that's why it was not as easy a shop as it should have been but we still got through it we have a goodly amount of stuff especially if you include your carrots and your pasta over there so let me just pop them there I think that looks pretty good for my shopping. I'm quite impressed with that. So I'm going to go and have more tea, make it in the flask this time, and I'll catch you later. <laughs>